What's up guys, Warm Mage here with Fitz Aviation Time and here we'll be doing the first part of the tutorial in Flight Simulator 2020. It's an eight part uh, tutorial about which pretty much teaches you the basics of how to fly an airplane. Uh, it looks like it's mainly a Cessna 152 based out of Sedona, Arizona and this is the first tutorial of the eight which is basic controls and cameras. So in this training we'll get to know the aircraft environment this training session will familiarize you with the base controls to spread your wings. We will explore different views around the aircraft. We will learn the pitch and roll of the aircraft using the yoke. We will be learning how to skew aircraft direction and yaw with the rudder. And then add and slash reduce power with the throttle. It'll take about 8 minutes. And if you just want to skip to a certain part of the tutorial, we will probably have it either in the description or on the video itself. And make sure if you enjoyed this video to like it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and comment down below if you have any ideas for videos for us to do, as we are always looking to do new flights to provide content for the channel. Also, I'm joined by the two other members of his aviation time, Airplane underscore Pro and Bonobo. Guys, feel free to say hi if you want. Never than that, hi. Everyone. Let's get straight into this tutorial. Podcast, imagine. The rain yes. Okay, here we are. Sedona, Arizona, 6,400 feet. Here we go. So the instructor's flying the aircraft. I'm not doing anything. Okay, Melina. Hey, Jess. This session, we'll get started with some basic controls. Sound good? Yes, Jess. All right, let's see what this says. let's get familiar with your surroundings. Nick, why did you want to raid the other Discord? Don't worry. I've got the stick while you get your bearings. All right. You can see terrible people. We have great visibility over Sedona today. <laughs> this Here we go. So joystick POV left, joystick POV right. Look around the different areas. So we can also use our arrow keys to move around the cockpit. And then your right click is pretty much your own free cam. That you can use so if we also want we can go back to the default camera angle by I think I set it on my own but it will be using control space I think I've said that it will also be in the tutorial here you go back to the main camera or it wants to use joystick button 2 which is I don't know Go. and then so after you set your custom camera you press alt 1 and it goes there so alt 1 will go to that custom camera that you set by pressing control alt 1 so I preset this as well but it's normally my joystick button 1 or period I think or control period one of the two and you will go to the nearest POI in this case it's the nearest airport So now I'm in control. control on our training list is the yoke. I still remember my first instructor saying Feel the there, yoke is like a steering wheel. Almost. Um, sure, you can turn, but you can also FPS. pitch. For starters, it controls the ailerons. Nothing on that. Hmm. And the ailerons, they allow the plane to really? roll and bank into turns. Go ahead and try rolling. So with your joystick, you'll be pushing it left or right. I don't know how it is in keyboard or controller, but pretty much left is left, right is right. So we're gonna make a right turn. Nice. Now let's see you level back out. And we'll bring our joystick back left, and we'll level ourselves back out. So yep, once again, Give it a shot. you pull back to go up, pull forward to go down, we're going to pull back on the stick. The most valuable things in aviation are speed and altitude. But notice, when you're pitching up, your speed is decreasing. You 
So uh, we're going to pitch down, we're going to level it off. There we go. It didn't register me at first. But anyways, there we go. As you level back out, let's talk about another control. The rudder is at your feet. Rudder pedals control the aircraft side to side movement. Also known as And this is the cavalry game, Nick? Yeah. On the ground, those pedals are going to steer the plane left or right. You know that picture I posted They properly align us during turns. Oh, what picture? The picture of the cheese, I mean the trap of the, the person. Yeah. I was like, I was like, why would you post that in a Discord with when this? All right, here we go. We're gonna rudder right. I'm it's like, gonna be a pretty dramatic shift. Here we go. I was like, don't you think that's being sensitive? And he's like, it's a bit crazy. So you normally don't. Like, you don't really use it. I don't even understand. Pretty much, they just wanted me to bring the plane back to zero degrees. There we go. We're going to use your throttle and you're going to bring your throttle all the way back. And pretty much almost all the aircraft. So that's cool. And now, full throttle. I think Aerosoft should make a uh, Embraer aircraft because I spent eighty dollars for garbage. Garbage does not work. I mean, it works, but it's like the worst stuttering you can ever have. Bro, my slide is at max. There you go. And as long as we maintain the same attitude, I don't know why it wasn't working. We'll keep climbing too. You're really getting the hang of your controls. Before long, you won't even need a co-pilot. Until then, if you want help with the radio or checklists or simply flying the plane, I'll be here. You can pass me the controls when you're ready to finish your session. It's a great day after all. So, once again, we have the camera angle so you can always change. You have the control buttons to actually look at different parts of an aircraft. You press control space to reset it. Control alt and a certain button will fix it. Well, actually no, it'll create a fixed camera. A new camera angle you could say because you can use the arrow keys to change your camera. Say I want to set camera angle right here, control alt 2, you reset it, control space, anytime you want, you press alt 2, and you go back to that camera. And then we have the aileron that you can use your joystick or keyboard or even, I don't know, mouse or even controller. Right goes right, left goes left. Then you have your pitch, you can pitch up, Pull it back, you pitch down, if you push it forward. You'll have your rudder, you can go right, and then left with it. Normally you don't really use it in flight that much, mainly on the ground for steering an aircraft. And then you have your throttle, which you can bring all the way back, or push it forward, and go over it. So overall, that was the first tutorial. It's pretty simple, we'll get more complex later on. I'm gonna give the controls back to our co-pilot Jess. And that could be it for the tutorial. All right, I have control. Good job. So there we go. That's the first tutorial of the series. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
hopefully it helped you at all if you're new to a flight sim and you don't really know how to fly maybe you're on the ropes for getting a game because you're nervous you won't be good at flying anyways hope this video helped you like if it did comment down below any video ideas any flight ideas for us to do any aircraft types anything really and subscribe if you're new and make sure to turn on this post notification so you know when we post a new video on this channel anyways thanks for watching and we'll see you in part two